Many in our culture have declared that all religious people are stupid. They use hugely, horribly unhelpful terms like creatard and religitard. Ugh. I just ache in my bones when I hear somebody, well, what, a, what a completely unproductive way of approaching religious belief. Right? Makes us feel superior, get a chance to strut around and be right. What have we accomplished? I had somebody send this to me on Facebook. It said, atheist, a thoughtful, honest, ethical, intelligent, skeptical thinker. Oh, I wish that was true. <laughs> oh, I wish it was always true. But the person who sent me this has not seen my inbox. <laughs> right? I've got anti-vaxxer atheists, homeopathy atheists, I've got Illuminati <laughs> atheists, global conspiracies, the faking of the moon landing, ghosts, auras, little green men, you name it, atheists, right? They reject a belief in God. It doesn't mean that they came to non-belief rationally, and it doesn't say really a whole lot about what they might be thinking or how rational they are in the rest of their lives. It just means they don't believe in God, period. We have to go deeper. There's a phenomenon called Spinoza's conjecture, named after the 17th century Dutch philosopher Benedict Spinoza, that says it's actually harder to reject ideas than to accept them. Right? The mere comprehension is sort of step one. It entails the tacit acceptance of it being true. We understand it, so it's easier to sort of set in stone. And then analyzing and vetting and potentially rejecting it, well, that's a whole other step. It's harder to be a skeptic. 